Hello everyone, my name is Solar and this is Simplify Science with Sal. Okay, today we are going to model and create a BCC lattice structure. You can use the outcome of this video for your simulation of computational mechanics or additive manufacturing of these lattice structures with any type of 3D printers. So it's worth mentioning that you can create lattice structures with n top but the approach is uh, way different with what we are going to do today in SOLIDWORKS okay as we are going to create a BCC lattice structure the base of our lattice structure is a unit cell and the base of the unit cell is a simple cubic system so first we are going to choose front plane and create our base cube okay let's create a rectangular set dimensions on five millimeter and make these lines equal okay everything is cool and fine okay let's extrude our simple cube okay this is the base of our unit cell and better to say the base of our lattice structure okay we need to create our pores just by doing an extra cut okay let's make these lines equal it is very important to make these lines equal and set these boundaries okay it's zero okay seems good well I have forgotten to mention that we are going to create a 555 lattice structure with the strut thicknesses of 0 0.25 okay let's have an extra cut with a true old mood very nice okay what we need to do is to apply this method to create two more holes on two other faces okay let's have a sketch drew a rectangle and make all these lines equal this is very important <coughs> sorry okay Okay, 0.25. Okay. Everything is set and fine. Let's extra cut this pore. Very nice. Okay, let's do the same process to our final uh, pore, to our final phase for the final pore. Okay let's make these lines equal and set some dimensions very nice you can choose different approaches for this part but I usually prefer this method because it's more secure assign this dimensions y11 okay let's have an extra cut with a true all mode okay now we have created a simple cubic unit cell you can use this simple cubic unit cell separately from this BCC lattice structure to create lattice structures with uh, simple cubic unit cells but now we are working on a BCC so let's draw some struts to body centered a cubic system that we have okay. we need to create some reference geometries and especially a plane with three reference points I'm going to choose this point this point and this point to create this plane to draw my uh, 
I mentioned at the strut. The point of drawing this strut is to set our center, our rectangle center, to the corner of these three struts. First is this strut, second and the third strut is here. Okay. Let's make all of these lines equal and put out some dimensions. Okay, very nice. And now all we need is to extrude this strut, I think. <coughs> Sorry, 8.1 would be a nice strut very well very nice okay we are going to do uh, to apply the same process to uh, other corners to create the unit cell okay I have created uh, the whole unit cell and uh, I have done the same process for one strut through the other three struts. Okay. You can use this unit cell for your computational mechanics simulations or additive manufacturing of a single unit cell. But our main focus is to uh, create a lot of structure from this unit cell. So let's do the patterning process. We are going to use this tool, which is a linear pattern. We need to define a direction, which I have defined here. We need to assign some spacing dimensions. I'm going to choose 4.75 millimeter because, uh, let's see the difference with five limits okay five and we are going to use the body which we have created okay let's see the problem as i have mentioned before we are going to have a lattice structure with an extra thicknesses of 215 micrometers but as you can see here in the middle part of this lattice structure, the strut thicknesses is about 0 0.5 millimeter, which is wrong. So we need to make this to consideration, and we are going to choose 4.75 for the spacing dimension. And as you can see, the strut thicknesses are corrected. Okay. I'm going to choose a second direction here by just clicking on this line and changing it to that way, making this five. Okay, very nice. As you can see, we have created our first layer or first plane of lattice structure very nice very smooth very easy you can uh, pattern this unit cell to any direction that you need for your final lattice structure okay let's do the same thing to create this pattern on our third direction okay uh, let's check it yeah, it's okay okay we now need to choose bodies to uh, make the final linear pattern you can choose one by one from your visualization and your working area or you can choose the solid bodies from the model tree which is a more simplest more simple way so this is our final lattice structure we choose an element very smooth very nice and very nice 
okay you can ask your questions by sending email or contacting me on linkedin have a nice day and goodbye